Extracting a pipe from point cloud is as easy as clicking a button. Go to the scan to BIM tab in Revit and click on fit pipe button. Next click on a point on a pipe that you want to extract. Make sure to click on the straight portion of the pipe, away from elbows, tees, or any other object. In a few seconds, the add-in will extract the pipe and display a pop-up. The pop-up shows a 3D view on the left where you can verify the fit between the extracted pipe and the point cloud. Clicking on Reset View button resets the orientation of the view so that you are examining the cross-section of the pipe again. On the right side, you'll see the detected outer diameter. Below it, you can select the pipe's level and system type. If the pipe has insulation, click on Add Insulation checkbox, select the type of insulation and the insulation thickness. Below you'll see the pipe families loaded in your project, arranged by the best fit first. You can select show only previously used pipes checkbox to filter the list to only those pipes which have been used in the current project. Delta column in the table below shows the discrepancy between the detected diameter and the outside diameter of the pipe after taking insulation thickness into account. Select the pipe you want to insert and click on the OK button. Let's try extracting one more pipe which is slightly more difficult for the add-in to extract. As you can see, the pipe that the add-in extracted doesn't match the point cloud at all. In such cases where there are small pipes running in parallel, it's possible for the add-in to estimate wrong diameter of the pipe. In that case, use the polygon crop tool to isolate the points belonging to the pipe and then extract the pipe. Click on polygon crop button. Now draw a convex polygon around the pipe of interest as close to it as possible and press escape. You should only see points within the polygon now. It's better to change the orientation of the view slightly to confirm that there are no points directly in front of the pipe that didn't get cropped. Now extract the pipe using the fit pipe tool. When you are done extracting the pipe, click on clear crop button. Do not undo the operation using Ctrl Z otherwise pipe extraction may not work. Make sure to use clear crop button to undo the cropping of the points. This polygon crop tool is also useful if you have a small section of a pipe that's connecting two long pipes as you can see in the video. Fitting the pipe without cropping the point cloud will confuse the add-in, but if you use the add-in after cropping the points belonging to the straight portion of the pipe, then it'll work perfectly. Now let's try extracting this long pipe which is slightly drooping. It's not possible to fit one straight pipe through its entire length. In such cases, extract multiple pipes along straight segments of its length. We'll connect them using a line and connect tool later. Here's a bunch of pipes that we have already extracted using the fit pipe tool. Now we want to connect them. It's easier to connect the pipes when the point cloud is hidden in the view. So let's click on show hide point clouds button to hide the point cloud. Note that this step is optional. Connecting the pipes will work the same irrespective of whether the point cloud is hidden or visible. Pipes extracted using our scan to BIM add-in will fit very well with the point cloud but Revit may not allow connecting them if their axes are not in the same plane. As you can see in the video, we are not able to connect the two pipes using Trim Extend to Corner tool. To connect the two extracted pipes, we'll need to use the Align and Connect button provided in our add-in. But before that, you need to make sure that the pipe elbows and transitions are already loaded. You can verify that by selecting a pipe, 
clicking on edit type and then editing routing preferences and making sure that elbow and transition fittings are defined. If not, you'll first need to load the appropriate families in Rabbit and configure them in pipe types routing preferences. To connect the pipes, click on align and connect button. Then select all the pipes in a run that you want to connect. Make sure to select them in the same order in which they are supposed to be connected. In other words, pipe 1 will connect to pipe 2, pipe 2 will connect to pipe 3 and so on. Once you are done selecting all the pipes in a run, press escape. The scan to BIM add-in will optimize the pipes and the angles between them so that they connect to each other with minimal error. It should be pretty quick but it can take up to 20 seconds when some elbows are more than 90 degrees or pipes are almost but not exactly in a straight line. Once it's done, it will show a pop-up listing the pipes which seem to be forming a T connection and not an elbow. You will need to add the T connections manually. In some cases, such as in the video, the add-in may misidentify a connection as T instead of an elbow. Just connect them using an elbow using Rabbit's trim slash extend to corner tool. Now let's check the other connection. You can see that the add-in automatically added a reducer and an elbow to connect the two pipes. Let's go back to the case where we were trying to model a long drooping pipe. We have already extracted multiple straight portions of the pipe and now we want to connect them. Hide the point cloud by clicking show hide point clouds button. Then use the Align and Connect tool as usual. In this case, the pipes did get aligned but we got an error message saying that the add-in will need to move the pipes by more than 2 inches in order to connect them. This is because Rabbit doesn't allow elbows when the elbow angle is much larger than 90 degrees or very close to zero. The add-in tries to change the elbow angles so that they are allowed. When the add-in needs to move a pipe by more than half an inch, then it will show this error. Now you need to decide whether it's fine to move the pipes or no. In this case, we'll select no. So the add-in will align all the pipes but only connect the pipes with valid elbow angles. You'll need to connect the rest manually or leave them as they are.